Hey Internet, for this video I'm going to show my routine to remove malware and secure Windows based computers from it. Malware, which is short for malicious software, is software that tends to damage computers, slow them down, or steal data. Basically, malware is the kind of software you don't want on your computer. Unfortunately, they have a nasty habit of installing themselves onto unprotected PCs or PCs without the latest operating system updates. Malware can range from tracking browsing data to zombifying a computer by joining it to a botnet for denial of service attacks. Whenever a PC starts to act funny or slow, in most cases there's nothing wrong with the hardware and it is simply a malware infection. Getting rid of malware these days is a lot easier than it was 10 years ago and is mostly an automated process. I tried to make this video as easy as possible to follow so Windows users of any level can do it. This pretty much is what all these paid computer services do when diagnosing a malware problem. It annoys me that they charge money for something so simple. This isn't foolproof, but 90% of the malware cases out there can be eliminated with these programs. In short, if you're experiencing a slow computer or it acting strange, follow this video and run the scans first before deciding to take it to a quote unquote professional. Let's begin. All you need is three programs. The first is called ADW Cleaner. It's a malware scanner, but what's unique about it is that it requires no installation. Once used, you can remove it from the system because it doesn't receive any updates automatically since the program is the file itself. In my opinion, ADW Cleaner is probably the most effective malware removal tool I've used. Its scan has found some malware that the second program I'm going to introduce couldn't detect. You can get ADW Cleaner at toolslib.net. Downloads ADW Cleaner Download now Save it in a folder Call it Malware Clean or any name you want As long as you know where to find it I'll run ADW Cleaner once the other programs have been downloaded. Click Save. The next app is Malwarebytes. You've probably heard of it. Maybe a techie friend bought it up at some point, but I'm including it in here because there are still some that don't know it exists. This program, unlike the previous, is installed in the system. Years ago, this was the only malware scanner needed, but as malware authors got better, it's no longer foolproof. That's why ADW Cleaner is useful. Since lately I've been encountering more malware that can slip by Malwarebytes scans. I think it has to do with the fact Malwarebytes actively protects the system and malware authors have been able to study and find ways to avoid being detected by it. I consider Malwarebytes the first line of defense since it has real-time protection for the paid version. I personally have the paid version on my main system, but as long as you do weekly scans with the free one, you should be okay. So I would recommend this and not just ADW Cleaner only. Scanning with both Malwarebytes and ADW Cleaner will neutralize 95% of the malware out there. With that being said, let's download Malwarebytes. Go to Malwarebytes.com. Click Free Download. Scroll down and click free download. Save it in the same folder as ADW Cleaner. The last piece of software is still in beta, but by the time you're watching this video, it may no longer be. It's a derivative of malware bytes called anti ransomware and it prevents computers from having ransomware run on it without the user's notice. Ransomware is a type of malware that arguably has the most devastating payload of all malware types, if not stopped in time. What ransomware does is encrypt files from your system, making them inaccessible. It usually targets images, videos, and document files. For example, if you get infected with ransomware, 
It could target pictures taken from your wedding or some other important event, encrypting those files to no longer be accessible. Now why would anyone write software that does something terrible like that? Money. That's why. Files encrypted by ransomware aren't totally inaccessible. They can be decrypted by the author, but at a price. Hence it being called ransomware. Once files have been encrypted by ransomware, usually it notifies the user and offers them decryption of the files for a price. And it isn't cheap. Fortunately, this type of malware is rare. But ransomware is out there, and it's better to be safe than sorry. This is important to have because unlike other malware types that can cripple a computer to the point a reformat is necessary, your important files can still be backed up and saved. On the other hand, once a file is encrypted by ransomware, it's virtually impossible to decrypt without the author's decryption key. To get Malwarebytes Beta Anti-Ransomware, the download link is in the description. If the link is down, it probably means anti-ransomware is no longer in beta and can be downloaded from the main Malwarebytes website. Click the download link. Click download. Save the file in the same folder as the others. Once the files are finished downloading, open the folder they're located in. Install Malwarebytes first. Double click MBAM setup. Click OK. Click next. I accept. Next. Next. Leave everything default. Keep clicking next. Click finish. Malware Bytes is going to update itself the first time it starts. Let it do that. It should only take about a minute. I'll just let it do a scan real quick. If you ran the scan yourself, just click finish once it's complete. Or if it found some stuff, follow the on-screen instructions to remove them from the computer. It might require a restart for removing found malware. Okay, now to install the anti-ransomware program. As I said earlier, this program is still in beta, so some ransomware may still slip through. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Personally, I've never experienced ransomware, but have read enough horror stories about it to add an extra layer of protection on my computer. Alright, enough of my chatter. Let's install this thing. Double click mbarw setup. Click next. I accept. Next. 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 Install. Click finish. Malware bytes anti ransomware should pop up here letting you know protection is enabled. If it's not enabled, make sure your internet connection is on so Malwarebytes can activate and enable ransomware protection. Once the message of anti-ransomware protection is enabled, close the window as it'll run in the background. You can see it's running here. With the two Malwarebytes programs installed, now we can run ADW Cleaner. This program does not need to be installed and runs directly from the file itself. Sometimes it catches things Malwarebytes does not. I've witnessed it firsthand while cleaning up friends' computers. It doesn't update itself like Malwarebytes does. Newer malware may bypass its detection, so it's better to delete ADW Cleaner after a scan and get a new download on the next one. I recommend always using both of these scans.
I say this because not too long ago I was removing malware from a friend's computer and only ADW Cleaner picked it up. Double click ADW Cleaner. Agree. Click scan. I've been using these as my go-to software to get rid of malware for a very long time. And trust me, I'm sure all those paid computer service guys use these programs to get rid of malware as well. I made this video so anyone can do the most basic of malware cleanups. And when I say anyone, I'm looking at you, parents, grandparents, and people who just didn't grow up using computers. Obviously there are some malware out there that go beyond the scope of these programs but I guarantee a good 95% of the malware cases can be removed or stopped with ADW Cleaner and Malware Bytes. That being said, the first people I'm going to share this video with are my mom and dad, because I know if they watch this video enough times and get into the habit of doing a weekly or even monthly scan, it will be one less thing I'll have to help them on when they inevitably ask me to fix their computer. Looks like ADW Cleaner found something. Oh, it's just a tracking cookie probably doesn't look serious. This is probably what will be found on most computers that run ADW Cleaner the first time. This is not malware. A tracking cookie just tracks browsing activity, for marketing purposes usually. Both ADW Cleaner and Malware Bytes usually detect these type of files. Just know these files are generally harmless to the computer and are mostly just a privacy risk. Finding stuff that mentions a known website like AOL is nothing to be worried about. However, if this scan finds real malware, the name would include the words Trojan, Worm, or some combination of random characters. If ADW Cleaner finds something like that, it's best to log off personal accounts like email and change your passwords. Anywho, to remove the stuff ADW Cleaner finds, just click clean. You may be prompted to restart the computer. Click OK to that. Let the computer restart itself. Upon starting up, ADW Cleaner will present a text file detailing what was removed. Honestly, if you're watching this, share this video with any friends or family who have a Windows based PC. Getting infected by malware should be a thing of the past. The more people know how to clean it up, the less motivating it is to create malware, and these programmers' talents will be taken elsewhere like making quality video games or something. And that's it. Please share this video. Casual Windows PC users need to be aware that these tools are out there and you don't need to be an expert to fix a computer slowed down by malware. If you've never ran a malware scan before or let others do it for you and your computer is running a bit slow right now, install Malwarebytes and run ADW Cleaner. You never know. Something might just turn up. And also, thanks for watching.